hello everyone and welcome you all this is one of the interesting problem in the mechanics of solids so we are going to calculate the strain energy which is stored in the bar or the element so now we are having the question you can see on the screen a steel bar of 1.5 meter long so there is a steel bar with a length of 1.5 so 1.5 meter so approximately it is 1500 mm okay so 1500 mm is the length of the that steel bar of 50 mm diameter for 900 meter of its length it means from the one end it's having a diameter of 50 for a length of 900 so total length of the element is 1500 in that 900 is for 50 mm diameter so now if you draw the axis of the that bar element center line so the diameter we can say it is 50 mm this diameter is 50 mm to a length of 900 okay let us uh, assume that this is an 900 mm is the length for having a diameter of 50 mm 50 mm is the diameter for this bar and uh, now total 1500 minus 900 so remaining will be 600 okay so this distance from here to here we are having now 600 mm okay because total is 1500 in that 900 is for having 50 mm diameter and remaining is 600 mm now so 25 mm diameter for the remainder okay it means the for the remaining having a diameter of 25 mm means this one is 50 so this another diameter will be having 25 mm so this is an now 25 mm is the diameter for the another element okay now this is let us say element 1 and this is an element 2 two. two elements so one diameter is let us say d1 is 50 mm and this one will say l1 is 900 mm and for l2 it is 600 mm and now this is an d2 okay hope every dimension is clear to you now what is the strain energy stored in the bar you need to calculate that is u you need to find out under an a load means it is an a gradually applied load because static loads of 45 kN static load is given 45 kN so p is given as 45 kilo newton it means 45000 newton force is applied or the load is applied okay so you need to find out the strain energy okay so strain energy for both the elements anyhow it is a not a uniform bar okay it is an stepped bar so strain energy in the element 1 you need to calculate and also strain energy in the element 2 also you need to calculate later you have to assemble or you have to make the adding 192 then you will get the total strain energy and anyhow the eng's modulus material property is given as 2 into 10 power of 5 newton per millimeter squared so all the dimensions are in millimeter even the material property and the dimensions and also the 
stresses okay so everything is given in terms of millimeter okay so it means it shows that this material 1 and material 2 are made with the same composite means same material so the material property it will be same means e1 and e2 it will be considered as same and there is a axial load of 45 kilo newton so the 45 kilo newton is applied along the axis okay so this is an strain energy the load applied along the axis so it is 45 kilo newton okay so now to calculate the strain energy we require to calculate the stress and also we require to calculate the area for the each element because we know only the diameter so we have to convert uh, the diameter into the area that is the primary work in this case now if you want to calculate the diameter uh, sorry area for element 1 that is pi by 4 into d square is the area for a circular shaft okay now what is the for equation here so pi into d square is 50 square by 4 so it is 1963.49 mm square area for element 1 now area for element 2 25 so pi d is 25 square by 4 490.87 mm square so area for element 1 area for element 2 anyhow length is already known to us l1 and n2 and e1 and e2 will be same and you need to calculate now the stress okay that is uh, very important for the equation okay everything is known to us now only you need to calculate the stresses so sigma 1 stress is what force per unit area so force is given as 45000 kilo is 10 power of 3 by area is 1963.4 so we'll directly get the stress 1963.4 so 22. Nine newton per millimeter square is the stress for another element. It is forty-five thousand by area is four ninety point eight one. So we got ninety one point six eight millimeter square. okay so it will be newton per millimeter square stress 1 and stress 2 so after this now we can directly go for calculating the strain energy that is where u is equal to or uh, you can directly add element 1 plus element 2 so u1 plus u2 you can make u1 plus u2 okay so u1 plus u2 is equal to what strain energy for the element 1 strain energy for the element 2 so what is the equation here where sigma square a l a l is the volume by 2 e for element 1 now for element 2 also sigma square a l by 2 e so now what will be common here 1 by 2 e is common so you can take separately 1 by 2 e because stresses are different and area is also different length is also different that everything you can keep within the bracket all the unknown values so that you will get the final stress let us substitute now uh 2 into e value e value is given as 2 into 10 power of 5 Okay. 
and uh, area for the element 1 1963.4 into length for element 1 that is 900 divided by uh, anyhow uh, 2e we have taken our set so there will be 1 plus area for element 2 490.81 into the length for element 2 that is 600 that's it so this is a one element now this is second element now. after that outside there will be 1 by 2 into 2 into 2 into 10 power of 5 2 e is there okay that will directly add in the calculator so 1 minus we got around 8 point this is a final answer 8 point 508 okay so 8.508 newton millimeter that is the unit of strain energy or you can say uh, because all dimensions are in millimeter you can convert into newton meter or joules okay after this so hope you understand this question thank you